This is Gary Atencio with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. We're here at Breckus Tile and Stone. Since 1998, this custom stone fabrication company has been providing quality, timely, and professional installations for folks here throughout Colorado. I'm here with Corey Williams. Corey, share with me a little bit, first of all. This company began... Um, 10 years prior before you came on board with them here, but you yourself, you've been in the industry for many years. What got you involved here with Breckus? Gary, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate you. Um, you know, honestly, Breckus has built a reputation uh, based on the quality, timely, and professional installation mantra. And that's the reason that I'm here, to be honest with you. I've worked with several different fabricators within the industry, and when I knew that it was time to move forward, Breckus was the answer for me. So I approached Jeff and Kim, the owners here at Breckus Tile and Stone, and it was an immediate perfect fit. So I uh, have enjoyed the uh, every every bit of the eight months of being here. So. Speaking of the owners themselves, quite honestly, they, they bring quite a combination to the to the table with this company. We're talking about uh, the CEO who basically has an architectural training uh, from one of the best colleges in New York. You've got basically um, Jeff, who has been on location for many, many years doing this back in Boulder before and then bringing the company over here as well. Share with me, do you think that's kind of an edge out there when it comes to bidding on jobs throughout Denver? Without question, that is why we have the reputation that we have, because they pour their heart and soul into this business. So it's really... Uh, hard to find that anymore. Uh, Jeff's in the field all day, every day, around the clock. Nights, weekends, it doesn't matter. Kim is here in the office um, uh, with with the commercial team and the residential team here. So it's amazing leadership throughout this organization. Really proud to be a part of it. It really gives us an advantage in terms of education. We want to educate our clients on the tile and stone industry. Between the Kim and Jeff, they have a world-class education in all things stone. And really from the quarry to the kitchen is quite a process. Jeff just came back from Brazil and is importing three, maybe four containers of material, hand-selected. And so it's really quite a process to see it extracted uh, cut into slabs, shipped over here, and then what we're able to do to it through the fabrication process, uh, through the installation process, um, is really second to none. Our fabrication facility about a mile north of here is really a blend of technology and really old world stone craftsmanship. We hand inspect every piece before it ever goes into our clients' kitchens. So it's just one of the things that we're really proud of and really what I would call a point of difference between Breckus and the rest of the fabricators that are out there uh, today. Interesting. So it's that management team, but obviously we're talking about multiple teams here under one roof that all uh, collaborate together. As consumers, we walk around, be it a hotel, a resort, possibly an airport, shopping center. We marvel at, uh, at the marble or the granite that we see throughout these places. But obviously, um, if you go all the way back, we're talking about a design team that gets this whole vision started. Share with me your design team and, and what do they do for your success? Absolutely. They're a very big part of the success, uh, specifically for Breckus Tile and Stone here. Um, we have three residential designers and two commercial designers. So the ability to put something on paper and communicate to a client what you're going to build and what you're going to achieve before you actually build it and deliver it and bring that in their home is really a, a special trait that our designers have here. We use technology with the use of 2020, uh, which is a cabinet design program that allows clients to see perspectives of what their new kitchen is going to look like. It's really a state-of-the-art process. And then, of course, they're all trained in CAD programs and things like that, where we can then communicate to our installers the specifics of anything uh, that we're going to need on the job site in terms of the installation. So, again, another point of difference between Breckus and the other companies that are out in this market. So we're talking they create that virtual reality to make sure that it's perfect. So when it does become reality, 
It's exactly what you envision. That's fantastic. You guys work with quite a bit of material here. Um, your expertise lies in that of marble and as well as granite. Um, share with me, wh where are these products being sourced in from? Are we talking locally here in Colorado or as far as uh, Italian marble coming across the country? A little bit of everything. So a lot of the granite comes from Brazil. Um, we do work with all of the major slab wholesalers in the Denver metro area. So any of our clients can choose stone from That's anywhere nice. that they would like. And then, of course, we also have plenty of slabs out here that we sell at a great value because, again, we import those ourselves. We work with all of the hard surfaces, as I'll call them the engineered quartz surfaces such as silestone, cambria, caesar stone. Uh, of course, as you mentioned, your traditional Calcutta, uh, Carrera marbles, uh, the granites, anything from Ubatuba to the full exotics. And so we really are able with the technology again in that that stone craftsmanship to work with any of the stone surfaces that are on the market today. So you have a showroom here that you can take people through and the real dream building begins, but you also have a facility where you've got state-of-the-art um, laser design technology, making sure everything's precise. Not only that, but you can probably cut things a lot quicker than you could just 20 years ago. Yeah, you hit the nail right on the head. The technology allows us efficiencies. <laughs> And what it allows us to do is to service our clients at a very high level uh, in a timely manner. And so, as you mentioned, we do have that fabrication facility about a mile north of here. We offer complimentary tours of that by appointment only. So people can actually be involved in the process of getting the new countertops or creating their new kitchen. So we really pride ourselves on that. We allow our clients to see images of the pieces that are going in their kitchen uh, on a digital file in a picture of their slab before we ever cut the first piece so there's no surprises with anything that we do everything is up front it's all seen they can even see the seams before we ever cut the first piece to understand you know exactly what that's going to look like when we deliver it to their home one of the things many companies out there um, you see them saying that uh, no job is too small or too large many times to go out and bid on a large job and find out they're maybe in over their head. That is definitely not the case with this company. I mean, quite honestly, you guys have jobs to your credit as small as a, uh, a kitchen island all the way up to literally uh, city blocks of uh, granite put down throughout an airport. Is that something you really pride yourselves on? It actually is. We have a beautiful facility here, obviously, that we want to welcome our clients into. We have a lot of remnant pieces, pieces that are left over from larger jobs that we allow for our clients to look through for exactly what you're talking about, the little tabletop or the small island that they may need. And then to your point, we just finished the historic restoration at the Union Station. So we took all of that marble down from Marble, Colorado, from the Yule Mine, and it's 100 years old. And we restored it, we reinforced it, and then we reinstalled it. So we were really proud to be a part of that project, not to mention the work that we're doing out at Denver International Airport. Um, we're just proud to partner on big projects like that where um, you know, we can all be successful as a team. I mean, Union Station was one of the reasons that attracted me to come out and talk with you guys. Um, quite honestly, that had to be quite an undertaking. We're talking about a building that began back in 1881. You guys went in and basically um, rejuvenated it. Um, the grand opening was quite a deal. The city's still talking about it. Um, share with me some of the stats there. We're talking about some serious man hours maybe there, possibly a lot of material that went in and out of there. Share. Months of work, to be honest honest with you, and crews. Um, and Jeff uh, really had a lot of engineering to do on that specific project in terms of being able to get that marble down while preserving it, um, get it back to the shop in a lot of cases, and then of course get it back um, into Union Station in uh, in a beautiful manner. So really, um, again, just a phenomenal project. So many moving parts uh, and in teams within that um, 
that facility, uh, but we were proud to uh, have accomplished that, uh, you know, over the course of months of work. So, Regardless of the project out there, quite honestly, it is Jeff who still oversees almost all the projects out there that are going on, be it the Brown Palace, DIA, or that of Union Station. I would imagine the communication out in the field is vital for the success to make sure that it's done in a timely manner, as well as on budget. Absolutely. You know, we really have Jeff to thank for that. Um, he's a man that uh, does some things that uh, most of us kind of uh, are baffled about. But to your point, um, to have that one person that oversees everything, takes ownership of everything that happens on site, you know, and everything that his team members do, he takes ownership of and is a part of. So uh, really great to have Jeff at the helm and kind of leading this organization, uh, you know, to our next challenge. Off to the next challenge. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. First of all, on the website, you're going to see some great imagery that's going to get your mind going a little bit. Quite honestly, they are the professionals down here when it comes to granite and marble. They are now moving into cabinetry. We're talking about kitchens, sinks, spas, everything. They take care of it for you out there. And um, keep in mind, they've been working working here in Denver, not only with residential, but also with commercial. There is no job too small or large. They've got a complete design team that will take you by the hand, walk you through the project. You're going to be able to experience that virtually before you actually walk through it and, uh, and share that dream. I notice a lot of cabinet work around me here. Kitchens, is that something that uh, Brekos does as well? Absolutely. Again, these residential designers here are experts at kitchen design. We can design a space that's functional and then we make it beautiful. So we really try to approach it of, you know, a client comes to us with a problem. I have a kitchen that doesn't work for me. So what we want to do first is make that kitchen functional. And then of course, we're going to make it beautiful. Tons of door styles, wood species, stains, glazes, glass inserts, any type of mechanism that you can imagine, we can equip a kitchen with. So we're very proud of that. And so really from start to finish, we can cover a kitchen remodel turnkey and just make a one-stop shop for our clients. These are definitely not the uh, kitchens we grew up with, Corey. I mean, we may have had a beautiful one or maybe ones that were just functional. You're actually combining the two. I and mean, after all, the kitchen is where we really hang out. It's the hub of the family. And um, that's got to be exciting, just being able to walk through and present this or any project that you're that you're able to see through to the finish. Absolutely. We take great pride in the finished products that we have. If you look at our website, uh, you'll see some of the images of, of those uh, kitchens that we've completed, bathrooms, home spas. We specialize in waterproofing. We specialize in steam showers. So we really take great pride in, in embracing those challenges that nobody else really wants to touch right. that require that extra bit of communication that extra bit of effort that's really where breakfast tile and stone is able to shine in those situations so we love the finished product we take great pride in every step of that process so to see it all done you know is just kind of a pat on the back and a good day's work Corey, basically we've discussed your management team We've discussed the designers you have here locally. All of those things basically differentiating you from any of the other folks out here as far as competition goes. A lot of tile layers out there. Share with me a little bit more on some of those differences. Absolutely. We are a professional grade tile company. I mentioned earlier we specialize in waterproofing steam showers. These are the types of things that challenge most tile installers. We use the Schluter products, Dietra Mat, all of these different products that are offered through this company called Schluter. Mm -hmm. And what they do are they allow us to use top quality setting materials, top quality preparation materials that just set us up for success. So whether it's a custom drain system, whether it's a 15 layer rooftop deck in Breckenridge, Breckis Tile and Stone has the ability, the technology, the engineering to be able to perform at a very high level. There are so many tile installers out there and Unfortunately, in our industry, more lawyers have those books than the installers have the books. So 
we play by the rules. We do things the right way the first time, and that's really a point of difference between Breckus and the rest of the towel installers. Not only that, but when you're dealing with a material that is, uh, it can be costly to make mistakes. Um, definitely a lot of folks try to do it yourself type of thing out there. I would imagine not only the actual end product must look good, but even the preparation, the subflooring, like you say, making sure the preparation is done on the front end so that um, it not only looks good today when they walk through it, but from years to come. Absolutely. It's really a work of art, the process involved, the process of putting the foam board on the walls, waterproofing all of those things. And then, of course, setting the materials, using the right thin sets, using the proper grouts, getting everything right to make sure that each individual tile that has specifications for how it must be set and the materials that have to be used, again, are just done to the specifications of the manufacturer and the recommendations, of course, uh, again, of the National Tile Council of America. Viewers, last time, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. Once again, you're going to see their contact information. As simple as a click away, you can give them a call, or better yet, come on down to their Denver location. We're talking about a large facility facility here that is a beautiful showroom that will definitely get your creative juices flowing and uh, basically understand that they're here to help you uh, find out what it is. The dream that you may have, you open up those magazines and you uh, take a look at these great kitchens. This is the kind of place that can do that just for you. Also, check them out on Facebook. Like them there. They can show you some of the bigger projects they've got going out there. They love sharing their work as far as the imagery goes. We're talking about full showroom here. They do complete heated floors. You name it. It's a real exciting place to uh, check out locally for you. That is Breckus Tile and Stone. Quality, timely, and professional installation. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.